Good morning, everybody. This is Christy. I am the Intimate Warrior. I thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, I send you love. Today is April the 18th. I have been going through this uncertainty, I guess, or this transition here. It is a, a transition of uncertainty, a transition of waiting, and not knowing how to use my voice. Which is taking me here too. Tour season. And how I am coming up with this. interpretation of what I gather tour season is about. So for myself, it's been about a week here, a little over a week where I have just been stumped at what I should be speaking about. I have been doing some things in the background that I have not been speaking about myself. And it goes along with what I spoke about within the Ace of Pentacles reading yesterday in trusting in your process. And letting go of the past. And this is of course how our cycle continuously plays out. We're always being guided to release aspects of our lives, no matter what it is. So this is continuous. But it gets to a point of really And I guess I like using the phrase leveling up. Aries season was so I want to say electric, fiery. Taurus season is going to be very down to earth. A huge transition from We're going from, I guess, creating this idea to now how can this idea manifest itself. So we can go from a new moon sensation, great ideas great opportunities, great excitement to the full moon ideas where it does arrive. Except there's that transition period of what do I do here? There's that middle phase of waiting. Almost uncertainty.
when we are talking in terms of you know I don't sometimes I I know I explain things a little bit differently in terms of what seasons signify or the planets what they pertain to I hope it's okay the way that I expressed myself it I know it's different different isn't always bad or different isn't bad Taurus works with Venus which is very loving in nature yet Taurus has its opposite which is Mars and we will be working with both areas here Because, one, there's always this tug and pull between energy. Just like there's Jekin and Boaz, different sides of the pillars. We are often asked which side we are going to reside on. The energy of Taurus because it's associated with Venus, deals mostly with our heart. Yet, it works with our throat area. Scorpio deals with more of the lower sexual energy, our sexual region. When we use our lower energy, What we express through the voice becomes improper, becomes belittling, becomes abusive, aggressive, hurtful, degrading. All those <laughs> things that nobody wants to hear. And so if you just heard what I said in terms of Taurus dealing mostly with our neck region, this is mostly dealing with our thyroid and the parathyroid. Our thyroid, of course, deals a lot with the hormones which when are in balance not completely balanced or not balanced it is because we are actually using the opposite form of expression which is that lower sexual energy of Scorpio and Mars The improper use of words is also a way of using the expression of fornication. It's the misuse of true expression. Slander, slandering can become blasphemies. which is an expression of the inner self now or the lack of true self.
and this is I'm waiting you guys don't know how what I am actually dealing with here in the background through this deeper transition here and I wanted to read a verse here from the Bible but when they deliver you up take no thought how or what ye shall speak for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak for it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father, which speaketh in you. That's from Matthew 10, 19 and 20. I talk a lot about proper use of words. proper expression when we are really trying to express ourselves properly it means that we are conscious of lacking conscious of how we don't want to be we're conscious of the ways that we have been taught to be we are conscious of how we feel when we are expressing ourselves improperly. The improper use of words doesn't only harm ourselves. It hurts other people. And we know that. As we learn to really express ourselves properly, thinking about our wording, thinking about the words we use in our everyday vocabulary. Something else beautiful can take place within us. Where gifts can be given of the voice. We all have great abilities. We all have gifts that, that can be awoken. But it's up to us to be able to tap into that ability. Every gift that is there is already within us. It's just we have to do the work in order to wake it up. And then we have to do the work that says I'm not afraid of this ability. No matter where you are in your journey, how far you think you've come, what level you think you're at, there's going to be A time where you're going to be like, are you serious? I thought I was over this. I thought I would never feel this lower vibrational emotion again. I thought I have overcome. I thought I have grown so much in love that there was no way. But the further that you go, on your journey there's more that can be awakened and when those things are awakened within you when those beautiful emotions of oh yes I've accomplished this I've awakened this ability if you want that ability you're going to have the opposite of what you are currently feeling arise can you overcome it 
push through it, develop it a little further, so you can truly receive its gift. I have been almost terrified for about a week here about what I am doing here in the background. I'm terrified, yet I'm so excited about it. I can't wait to share it. I'm waiting. I'm still waiting. I think that when we are my perception about how Taurus season is going to be is that it's going to be more about getting that creation, getting that manifestation. Like I said, new moon phase, full moon phase. Taurus season is going to be about the full moon phase, receiving, manifesting, creation at its finest. But there's still that transition phase of getting to that point from one point to the other. It's a little uncomfortable. It can get a little tricky. It can become a little more doubtful. Yet, it can make you feel empowered. It's so crazy for myself. Feeling both at the same time. Wondering why. Can you, how can I feel this way? accomplishing so much. Now it's as if I'm starting over again. Because this is a time of leveling up again, like I said. When we are standing on that high ground, we feel just that high, as if Nothing can tear us down. Yet, <laughs> here it is. An experience that is making us question how far we've come. How much further are you willing to go now? to achieve this, to have this. You know, and I, I look back now because I express so often the importance of expression, proper expression. And here we are at this moment of Taurus season where proper expression can be utilized to your benefit because when we are unable to properly express ourselves, we don't know really how to create. It goes hand in hand. To be able to speak about creation 
is to really understand how that creation is unfolding. You can want something, but how are you going to get it? This is moving from where we've been to Taurus season. But if you're stuck in between or don't even have an idea, about what you're trying to create in your life. The expression gets lost. There's a time to speak and a time when not to. Everything we speak about amplifies what it is that we are attempting to manifest in our lives. If you don't know, it's okay to not know. Just be careful at what you're talking about. Remember that it's not only about how we speak with our voice. It begins with what we think in our own mind. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.